years welcome to this new video your italian teacher is here and so in this video um i'm gonna talk about the irregular verbs so um, i'm gonna give some tips that can help you remember um, how they are conjugated because the difficult thing with these irregular verbs is that everything changes so uh, you know usually in italian there is a part of the verb the root so the first part that doesn't change and then um, you add something at the end to clarify then which person is doing it is doing it and also which tense that is so when it happened uh, now with the irregular verbs uh, get, things get tricky because even the part that you don't expect to change that changes and sometimes it changes quite a lot um, and even affects so it affects even the um the designate is technically called so what you add at the end um at the, at the verb after the root and uh so those verbs can be a bit tricky uh, now tips to remember them better first of all tip number one learn not well but more than well the conjugation of the regular verbs so the dissonance what you add at the end because if you do that then when you go and learn the irregular verbs basically you need to do half of the work you need just to remember how the root changes and and nothing else because the dissonance what you add at the end you already know it if you learned it well you know it and so um, basically you just need to learn half 50 percent of the conjugation so the, the effort would be more on that first part on the root because the rest you already know it so um, that's the first tip learn first very very well the conjugation of the regular verbs so um, second tip tip number two um, even if the root changes when you conjugate an irregular verb there are anyway patterns like uh, you know for example when you conjugate uh, dovere uh, so which means yeah to have to um, so dovere what you expect is dovo dovi so something like that if you if you were to follow the regular conjugation but no um so dov that part that you don't expect to change that changes somewhere and so it becomes dev uh, but then the dev is what stays so you if, if you learn how that the root changes from dov to dev and then you remember that the dissonance is of for the i form so it becomes devo or the I for the U singular form, Devi, then there you have it. So what helps really is to learn how the root changes. So once you have learned what you need to add at the end, the dissonance, then focus on how the root changes, the pattern that it follows. Um, and there are also, when it comes to this, there are some tricks that can help you um, remember better because first of all what you will notice when you can study these irregular verb, verbs is that um, the i form and the um, they form basically have a similar root most of the times like uh, for example if you conjugate volere to want then it becomes voglio for the i then it becomes voi vuole vogliamo volete vogliono so voglio vogliono stays the same and yeah in this case even the we form is vogliamo so follows the same pattern but really very often it's the i form and the they form that had a similar um so they have a similar pattern and like volere says vo voglio and voglio for the i and the they um and 
we have seen in this case that the waveform also changes, but often, oh, very often, the um, the waveform doesn't change, the root doesn't change, so it just does what you expect, um, like uh, with stare. Uh, so it, the waveform is stiamo, which, if you remember the regular conjugation, is exactly what you expect. So the waveform doesn't always change. Um, often it also stays the same. It does what you expect, basically. And the U, the plural form, that's actually a form that always does what you expect. So um, it doesn't have an irregular root. So like with volere, when you do the U plural form is volete, which is exactly what you expect. Or um, so even with stare, so it becomes state, which is exactly what you expect. Um, or with uh, dovere is dovete, which is what you expect. So the U plural form, even more than the we form, doesn't change. It's just exactly what you expect. So it's one thing that you actually don't need to to focus. You don't need to remember how the root changes for the U plural form. Um, so this, um, these are the main things that can help you. And what I've also seen also in my students is that with the, these uh, irregular verbs, you are so focused on um, conjugating them, so on learning their conjugations that you forget to, to learn their meaning in translation. So um, also don't forget to learn what they mean. And if you have difficulty remembering that, I will make a video also about how to, yeah, about some tricks that can help you remember better the words that you learn. Uh, but so in this case, with irregular verbs, what can help is um, reasoning in contraries, like uh, andare e venire. Those are irregular uh, when it comes to the present. But they also the contrary. So andare, go, venire, to come. So if you remember that they are the contrary of each other, um, it, so basically you just need to remember one of them and the other one will come automatically. We go to the, fol the following tip, which is write the irregular verbs down as many times as you can, because just the conjugation, you will learn it by repeating. That's not the way you will learn it by repeating, repeating, repeating. So, if you are learning a verb like dovere, just write it, write it down, you know, um, and the sequence is always I form, you singular form, he, she, it form, we form, you plural form, they form. So, follow this sequence, write it down as many times as you can because that's not the way you're gonna learn them. Um, and the one thing that can be tricky here is that, okay, you learn this sequence, say you have learned this sequence, you have written down a thousand times, you know that, you know how the conjugation goes. Now it's the moment to apply it. So um, sometimes, mostly at the beginning, it can be confusing, you know, you've written it down, but then you've written it down, but then when you actually go and want to make a sentence or when you go and try, want to translate a sentence you need to think about okay so this room that i see then in this this person so it doesn't come that automatically uh now um uh, first of all you don't need to worry that much about it because if, if you translate the more you translate sentences the more sentences you make the more automatic it will come. So you won't need to think that much about which person you are seeing in a sentence or the, the person, the form that you want to use in your sentence. Uh, so you don't, then the more you do and the more you don't need to overanalyze it or to, to analyze it anyways, uh, it becomes more natural. Uh, the So you don't need to worry about that much about it. You know, even if at the beginning you see that you are that you are analyzing a bit too much. Don't worry because it will go away. But one thing that can help you from the first moment is switching around. So playing a bit around 
with the conjugation. What I mean is that, okay, you're used to um, conjugating the sequence that I told you, that, that's the convention, that's the rule. But no one prevents you from switching persons around. So, okay, say the conjugation, let's start with the plural. So let's start from the we person, then we walk all the way in a cycle, for example. Or let's do, instead of doing I, you, he, she, no, let's do the I, then the we, then the you singular, then the you plural. So to associate the singular and the plural together. So if you play around with it and you switch things around a bit, um, that will help you acquire more um, confidence with it. So so you won't need to analyze it too much when you're making a sentence or when you are translating a sentence. And so the following tip is divide your verbs. So uh, don't expect to learn all the irregular verbs in one go because it won't happen or you will really need to work a lot on it uh, on it and you know it will really be quite the effort uh, so don't learn them all in one go but divide them so make it your goal each week to learn as many as you want one two three but as long as you make a reachable goal and you keep at it so if you plan to learn one verb per week each week you go and you learn one verb, one the conjugation of one irregular verb. Or if you go list two, then you're going to learn the conjugation of two irregular verbs per week. And uh, now beware of one thing: don't start your week with the same verbs. So what I mean is that if in week one you have learned the one, the two, the three verbs that you want, then in the second week. Don't think about the, way the verbs that you have learned in the first week. Don't think about them. Focus first on the new verbs that you want to learn and learn them. And then you can go back and repeat what you already know. Because otherwise, if you don't focus on the new thing, you will just keep going back to what you already know. And so the first verbs that you have learned, you will know them well. But then the new ones, you won't know them that well. Um, so, and uh, we come to the last tip, which is use those verbs, use them. Because you have learned them, you have learned the conjugation and everything, but your aim is to talk. So apply them. And in general, whatever you learn, apply it. Just apply it whatever you learn because learning a language is made of one side learning the grammar and in the previous video I have insisted how important it is that is fundamental you need to learn it but on the other side learning a language is also applying it so even with irregular verbs try to apply it try to make your own short sentences or or um, even you know if you just are reading a text a dialogue in Italian and you see that it's one particular person used for a verb try to play around and say okay you know if I use that other person form then how would it look like so um, what helps also is even when you're just translating something be curious playing around with it try to modify what you see try to make it new try to make it yours this is something that in general this attitude will help you when you learn a language because um what i see also with my students is that um you know when translating a dialogue it just sounds like a bunch of words or it just looks like a bunch of words you know that you see and you translate but the step of internalizing it that's not always there immediately so my advice is internalize what you see make it yours playing around with it 
uh, not only for the conjugation of the irregular verbs, but in general for whatever you learn. So, and that's my message to conclude this video. I hope you find it useful and thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please put a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. As always, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to, uh, to post them. And see you next tutorial. Ciao, ciao!